Lord. Now we've got some rain, but you know, yes. we can handle this. <laughs> this we can deal yes, with. <laughs> I know, especially after what we've had this week. It's been a rough week. So let's go ahead and take a live look outside. You're looking at, yeah, cloudy skies. That's what we got. Uh, we do have, uh, well, at the moment, dry conditions. So that's good. But the first half of the day we knew would be dry. It is the second half of the day that things get a little wet. So mostly cloudy, 55 degrees right now. Winds out of the northeast at 10 miles an hour, but gusting uh, to about 22 miles an hour. It is 50s for most locations, 45 for Monticello, so very slow to warm up there. Uh, not that anybody's getting particularly warm today. It is just a chilly day. It was really cold for some out the door this morning. Still pretty chilly this noon. Uh, we've got the mostly cloudy skies, but again, not really seeing the rain yet. It'll take a couple more hours before we expect the rain uh, to work its way in. And here is the big picture. So we have the area of low pressure. We have a cold front. Of course, the moisture is preceding both, but we do expect that this moisture will work its way into the tri-state area this afternoon and at times we'll see some pretty heavy rains tonight. So this is six o'clock on your future cast. We're showing you both the approach of the rain but also the winds. 36 mile an hour wind gusts will be possible at six o'clock 40s as we head down the Jersey Shore. We do expect some of that heaviest rain around 11 o'clock tonight. So widespread rain moderate to heavy 50 mile an hour wind gusts for places like New York City and New Brunswick uh, 44 as we head to parts of Connecticut and still we'll see 40 plus mile an hour wind gusts or overnight and then the winds finally start to calm down but the rain as you can see still an issue so more so for parts of Long Island and parts of Connecticut but for everybody things stay unsettled for Saturday and by that I mean wet so drizzly is going to uh, drizzle and light rain still a possibility throughout the day on Saturday and could see some shower activity early Sunday then we get some significant clearing so it'll be at least partly sunny when the trick-or-treaters head out for your future Future cast is showing how much rain we are likely to get from this system. Anywhere from three quarters of an inch to nearly two inches, as you can see there for Montauk, so 1.8. Uh, a stray morning shower for Halloween, then spooky clearing, partly sunny, 62 degrees. So overall, it is going to be the better of the two weekend days by far. So prepare for chilly, stormy, windy conditions later today with a wind advisory in effect. Showery tomorrow, better for your Sunday. Yeah, you don't want the there candy to get wet, so at least the rain will be out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Elise.